you will not find it there. P.O. Box 8 9. When I was 10 years old, me and my friends were hacking up banana materials, banana tree. And when we moved the part of the body, the bark, we call it, I saw many, I saw many colors. <laughs> and I said I held it up, although it was green, it wasn't dry. I said I wish something could have been done from this. I said it from my heart and God accepted it as a prayer and he blessed me because he know I was touched by his handwork, the banana body. When he take off the layer, so many colors, greens, so many tones and tints of greens, yellows, blues, purples, black, white. It was amazing. It was, it was too beautiful to throw it. So over the years, because I was not mature enough, my parents keep spurring me on to play with the banana materials. Yes, because at that time I was a scientist. I had too many things adventure to go as a youth, 10 years old. So we had to experiment for 20 years to see if colors would change before we brought the vultures to the world in 1980. And I named it the banana art because St. Vincent where I grew up in the Caribbean island, banana was the chief crop. So to um, speak of the island, as an indigenous art, when the prime ministers and presidents and, and um, high authorities come, officials, we could give them from, uh, a gift of our country, something that represents our country, so banana art was the thing. Yes? And people call so it's common, so my so my work abstract, I don't call it abstract, I call it attract. Because it's the elements, the elements is what beautify the materials. The, the rain, the sunlight, the air, the earth. They're the ones over hills and valleys change the colours that man could never think about such effects and such tones. Because when you open a painting set, you see, many to you see many tones and tints of blues and yellows and so you see one black, you see one white. But from my color materials, from my materials, I can get five textures of black and four textures of white to play with from the materials. The three parts of the tree, the leaves, the, the flowers, that is the red part that cover over the fruit, yes? And the body of the tree. Look, listen. So you're looking at my art, you're listening to I speak, and you're learning about my art. So this is called Look, Listen, and Learn. Look, Listen, and Learn. <laughs> this one is called World Without Racism. Most of my big pieces are just one inch. You see it's black and white. You see this white is different to, uh, to this white texture. Look at mm -hmm. this texture, mm -hmm. white to this texture. You see what I'm talking about, the whites? Mm. Yes? I picked them. Yeah. They come in loads of different colours or yeah. do you leave them out to dry longer? Or how well, do you um, certain ones, like the greens, Mm. You have to pick it green mm. and you have to know how to preserve the green mm. just by boiling it in hot water or uh, I wait until the Ethiopians make the gragada. Mm. Yes? Which is? You know Ethiopians gragada? No. <laughs> they, they wrap up the, the, um, the, the banana. They wrap up the banana, the, the, the bread in, in banana leaves. Mm. And, it, and when the fire burn it, mm. you see? Yeah. 
This is how the fire burning. This is burning a lot of place, so I won't use that. See, yeah. see? You see? That's how it is burned. So uh, you could either burn it, mm -hmm. you could either boil it, you could either press it, yes? No, to preserve the green. That is coffee ceremony. This is angels watching over us. Banana Art Gallery Museum. Once you walk in, you're walking into this. Papaya trees, <laughs> probably banana leaves. This man is so magical that I also got scarves growing in his garden. Look at that. Have you ever seen this flower? It's called the Ethiopian flower. <laughs> yeah, he's not only the banana man, he's also a color man. He's immersed on it, he lives in it. <laughs> I don't stick, I don't cut, I just design and blend colors. I love looking at the colors. They say we caught them by a river in Wallo called Jamma. Jamma River, and that is what he said. Oh, Ethiopians, Jamaicans. Mm. That is where the name came from. Mm. Okay. Jamaica name. That name you just call it. That's the information is at the Addis Ababa University at this address. It's good. It has a lot of history to it, and uh, it's very you know thorough. It's amazing how he does it. Just off banana leaves and then makes it look so vivid and. Life, really quite unique and just unusual and really really enjoyed it. Yeah. I, can't, I can't wait to take one back. It kind of looks quite normal from afar but then you look closely at each of the paintings and there's so many textures and colours. It's really cool. I never think a banana leaf would be so like versatile and produce so many different colours and stuff which is really cool. Give him. Not like that. <laughs> that is look awkward, you know. It's just not the answer. Yes. You're telling us before you basically do your you do your art with um, banana. Natural banana materials. But that's not the only thing you do with bananas. We're saying that and is the reason why they call you banana men? Because, because what else? I only eat bananas. <laughs> banana milkshake I drink, banana juice, fried bananas, boiled bananas. Banana cake, banana porridge, banana chips, banana fritters. So I have it easy in life. So, <laughs> so you are the the banana man.